Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of hypothesis testing. In particularly, we will see what is hypothesis, some useful terminologies in hypothesis testing. Then we will see what are one-tailed and two-tailed tests. And finally, we will see the steps involved in hypothesis testing. So let us proceed for the question, what is hypothesis? in sampling theory. In sampling theory, hypothesis is a statement or assumption about the population parameter that we test using sample data. For example, assume you are testing a new medicine and you want to check whether there is any change in blood pressure of patients due to this medicine. Then you can decide your hypothesis as there is no change in blood pressure of the patients. Hypothesis is categorized into null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So let us study one by one. First, null hypothesis. It is the hypothesis of no or zero difference. That is the assumption that there is no significant difference between the observed value and expected value of the statistic. Null hypothesis is usually denoted by H0. For example, if your question in consideration is, are teenagers spending more time on internet than elders, then you can decide your H0 as there is no difference in time spent on internet by teenagers and elders or age does not affect the use of internet. You can clearly see H0 indicates there is no difference as discussed earlier. It is the hypothesis of no or zero difference. Let me give you another example. Assume your question in consideration is are animals concerned about their food color, then you should decide your H0 that is null hypothesis as animal do not concern about their food color. That means there is no difference. I hope you understood what is mean by null hypothesis and how to decide it. Now let us proceed for alternative hypothesis. It is the hypothesis which claims that there is a significant difference between the observed value and expected value of the statistic. It is usually denoted by HA and it is opposite of null hypothesis. Let us understand this with the help of same examples. Our previous question was, are teenagers spending more time on internet than elders? Earlier we decided our H0 as there is no difference in time spent by teenagers and elders on internet. Now we should write alternate hypothesis HA as there is a significant difference in time spent on internet by teenagers and elders. Or you can say age does affect the use of internet. Similarly, when your question was, are animals concerned about their food color? Over there, we took H0 as animals do not concern about their food color. Now we should write HA as animals do concern about their food color. I hope you understood these concepts of null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Now let us see some useful terms in hypothesis testing. First in the list is level of significance. We usually denote it with letter alpha. It is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true or it is the criteria or threshold value based on which one can reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The level of significance can take values such as 0 0.1, 0 0.05 and 0 0.01. It is basically 10%, 5% and 1%. The most common value of the level of significance is 5% that is 0 0.05. The lower the value of level of significance, the lesser is the chance of error. The outcome of the hypothesis testing is evaluated with the help of p-value. It is generally the probability of getting sample value. If the p-value is less than the level of significance, then the hypothesis testing outcome is statistically significant. That is, we reject H0 here. On the other hand, if the hypothesis testing outcome is not statistically significant or the p-value is more than the level of significance, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That means we accept the null hypothesis. For example, a significance level of 0.05% which indicates 5% risk of concluding that a difference exists when there is no actual difference. Now let us proceed for second term, which is degrees of freedom. It is the number of values involved in a calculation 
that have the freedom to vary. Let us understand this with the help of example. Consider an equation x plus y is equal to 2 with both x and y integers. The solution to this two variable equation can be obtained by assigning random value to any one variable. That means one variable has freedom to vary. So in this case degrees of freedom is 1. Similarly you can find the degrees of freedom for any given sample by subtracting 1 from the sample size. Now let us proceed for next term which is test of significance. It is the test which enables us to decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. Mostly it is this head score given by x bar minus mu upon s upon under root n of sample mean. These tests are divided into two categories, one tailed and two tailed test. There are many tests of significance in statistics but most common ones are student t test. This is useful to compare the means of two independent samples and chi square test. This is useful to evaluate the relationship between two categorical variables or test of goodness of fit and independence of attributes. Now let us see what is mean by one tailed and two tailed test. First one tailed test. It is the directional test in which we test the hypothesis in any one direction. Here null and alternative hypothesis are like H0 is effect is less than or equal to zero. Then HA will be effect is greater than 0. You can see HA is only one directional. Test probability curve and critical region or region of acceptance of hypothesis can be shown as follows in this case. So here you can see there is only one region where we can reject the null hypothesis. Now let us see what is two-tailed hypothesis testing. It is the non-directional test in which we test the hypothesis in both directions. Here null and alternative hypothesis can be given as follows. H0 is like effect is equal to 0 then HA will be effect is not equal to 0 which can be concluded as effect is greater than 0 or less than 0. So here we can see this is a two directional test. In this case the probability curve and the critical region or region of acceptance of the hypothesis can be shown as follows. Here you can see that there are two regions where you can reject the hypothesis. So this is two directional test. Therefore this is called as two tailed hypothesis testing. I hope guys you understood these two different types of hypothesis testings. Now let us see what are the steps involved in hypothesis testing. First step is to decide the null and alternative hypothesis that is H0 and HA. Next we choose the significance label alpha. The most common values for alpha are 5% and 1%. Next we select the test statistics for example t test, chi square test or ANOVA test. Next we compute the test statistics and p value which is probability of getting the observed sample and we finally compare them. And in last step, we make our decision. If P is less than or is equal to alpha, then we reject H0 that is null hypothesis. And if P is greater than alpha, then we fail to reject H0. That means we should accept H0. I hope guys you understood all the things that I have mentioned in this video about hypothesis testing. Keep watching my videos. Keep practicing examples from my videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.